are you still writing for the Times? I am not at the moment. The Times actually terminated the blog in uh, December of 2015. And uh, they did that because the, the newsroom staff was being cut at that time. They were trying to figure out how to make some money themselves. And they, off, they gave an offer, a buyout offer, to any employee who wanted to take it. If my editor decided to take it, rather than be fired. Because it, journalism is really a profession that's in some serious trouble. And when even the New York Times is cutting staff, uh, the people who had any other port available to them jumped. Now, he's at Forbes now. And I have a standing offer to write for Forbes, but I've found it to be difficult in the past 18 months to actually find the time to write. Um, if you read my book, actually I should talk about the book a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the book came out of the, the blog, but it's not a replication of the blog or an excerpt of the blog. So after I've been writing for a couple of years, a New York literary agent approached me and said, do you want to write a book? And this is one of the reasons why I said my story of, of how to be a writer is, contains no lessons. Because uh, my first job as a journalist was in the Times. And <laughs> before I even wrote a book, I had a very reputable literary agent who was just waiting for me to do something. So that was all easy. And when I had the opportunity to write the book, I'd think, okay, well, what do I want to write? You know, what's the book? And what I wanted to do was tell the story that I couldn't tell all the times. Because when you write for the times, you're, first of all, the blog format is about uh, identify a problem and then talk about it. And so that, it, you know, it's like today's lessons get. And, uh, and so that's okay. That's good. Uh, but the difficulty is that that is not in any way what it's actually like to be a boss. And in the book, I thought, okay, now... Oh, the other thing is, at times, I always got all my jokes edited out. <laughs> no bad words, no humor, you know, forget it. And uh, so I found that to be a little, a little confining. And uh, so when the book, I was like, okay, I don't have that same restraint, what am I going to do? And what I decided to do was actually to tell the story of a year in my business. And as it happened, the, I was approached by the agent in the fall of 2012, and I realized that what had happened to me in 2012 was a pretty good story, and that we started out in a good situation financially, and customers calling, and everything's going great, and then all of a sudden my business fell apart, that the, people, the phone stopped ringing and people stopped buying, and by June of the year I was, I was looking at it again, thinking about, oh my God, I'm running out of money, I'm going to have to close the doors. And then we turned it around. And so that's pretty much the, the way every story ever has ever been told, which is you introduce a character, you get them in trouble, and then you dig them out. So, um, and most years of business actually aren't like that. Most years contain sort of more isolated incidents when you go along. But 2012 had a great narrative to it. So the book was what happened to me in 2012. And I tried to, to touch on the multiplicity of different problems in their random arrival. And again, this is what it's like to be a small business boss. You're going to get in, get in the morning, you're going to write down 10 things on your to-do list. You're going to get to three of them. And then 10 other things are going to arrive, and you don't even know what they are. And they could be anything. It could be good news, it could be bad news, it could be an employee stealing from you, the fire that morning, it could be you know, a great contract shows up, it could be a client calls and says, Oh, someone drove a forklift through your table while I was on the loading dock. Yeah, like, you never know. And, and so, and I had not seen ever a book that really conveyed that. So I wrote the book that I wanted to read. The one that, that, uh, that had someone caught in an interesting situation, and had, a, had some good narrative drive to it, but also shown a spotlight on that life and the multiplicity of different problems. But also the, uh, the pleasure of going into a workplace and working with people that I like and doing a good job, too. I'm trying to get all that out of the page, so that's the question. I can't remember what the question was. <laughs>